Here we have a 1996 Ford Bronco XLT. Moonlight blue, Oxford white two-tone, royal blue interior. Five liter motor paired with a five speed manual trans. Super clean Western USA truck. Uh, it was originally purchased in New Mexico and spent time in Idaho and Colorado before I purchased it in Colorado and brought it here to Michigan where it's lived a nice garage life. Uh, Bob Turner's Ford Country, New Mexico. It's a really nice truck. Um, it's got some bangs and bruises on it, some scratches here and there. Um, but show is super nice and underneath is spotless not a speck of rust on this thing really nice truck nice good uh, kind of five spoke twisted wheels it's got BFG KO2 tires on it royal blue interior Headliner's in great shape. Couple, uh, couple marks here and there, but it's not droopy or, or anything like that. Um, seats are getting a little, they have a little bit of wear marks. Uh, the driver's is obviously a little worse. It does have an aftermarket head unit, but um, it's really the only like non-original part I can really find on this thing. Everything works as expected. It's a it's a great truck. Open this up. See the tailgate's kind of banged up. Some scratches and dents on it. Yeah. Super clean, all original paint. I haven't found anything to uh, complain about on it. There's the five liter motor. Newer Motorcraft battery on it. Um, so I bought this truck in Denver. Drove it back to Detroit after using it for a week out there in the mountains. Uh, got it back and felt like the front end needed to be rebuilt. So we uh, brought it to a old school frame shop and had them rebuild the front end on it. And uh, drives much better now. But other than that, I did a couple oil changes on it since I've owned it. It's been great. Underneath the truck's really nice and clean. No areas of rust uh, or rot. Um, one of the things we did was have the front end rebuilt. So they did um, kingpins and uh, ball joints. Um, this part was replaced. Just helped the truck feel a little more connected. It was kind of having a little, uh, you know, dead spot in the middle of the steering wheel, keeping it on the highway or whatever. So felt like it was time to get it rebuilt and it's much better now. Uh, underneath is, like I was saying, no rust. Um, there's, you know, crusty paint chip or missing coming off of here, but nothing, uh, certainly nothing rotting. Um, some paint missing here. It's the same on the other side. Uh, again, this is not like rusty, it's just the paint. 
powder coat failing. Just overall, super clean truck. The rockers are great. A little spots here, but um, otherwise, same on this side. Just a, it's a nice truck. Tags are clean on the transfer case. All right, gonna do a quick little drive around town here in the 1996 Ford Bronco XLT. Five speed. It's a super clean truck, I think it runs great. Um, the mileage, you know, is what it is, but it's certainly a well-maintained vehicle. I, I, it's got plenty of power and ways to get you around the uh, you know inside of the dash it's an old plastic interior it's got its rattles and squeaks um, you know the upgraded stereo is nice because you can plug your iPhone in um, or Android phone whatever and uh, play your music the one of the upgrades I contemplated doing and probably one of the first things I would do if I was keeping it longer would be upgrade the stereo the speakers in it could you know be a little louder, a little more crisp. Really hear that, you know, Freebird solo. So I wanted to demonstrate the cruise control working. So just pop the cruise control on and it holds steady for you. Whatever, everybody knows what cruise control is, just proving the fact that it works. I've really only ever used the AC when it's been really hot, but the best thing to do, and what makes this truck, in my opinion, amazing, is you roll down the two side windows and the back glass, and it's got the perfect amount of airflow. Keeps you cool, but it makes you not feel like you're, you know, getting whipped around in a wind tunnel. Um, driving around at you know higher speeds it's just a perfect little scenario to nice cool breeze and it's it's great it makes driving this thing around in the summer really fun and enjoyable it's an underrated thing it's like driving a convertible just less turbulent it's fun